We have Aiden Kiana Ina here with us. Uh, we're going to get started with a question from Jim McGill from Bear Insider. Hey, Aiden. Um, you obviously had a lot of offers out of high school and a lot of opportunities to, to do some, uh, make some good choices, but you had some injuries, you had a lot of depth in front of you. Can you just talk about the feeling that you're experiencing coming here, being healthy, being productive, and then having the best game of your career last weekend? Yeah, of course. You know, I'm truly grateful for Coach Sherman, Coach Browning, giving me an opportunity here to, you know, demonstrate my craft, go out there every day, show who I am, play for, you know, my family, play for myself, and just demonstrate that, you know, I can contribute to this defense. You know, they've put me in, a, they've put a lot of confidence in me over this off season through spring ball, summer and fall camp to play fast and just work on myself every day and build up my tool belt or my craft to go out there and be the best I can be. Thanks. We'll go to Jeff Ferrado from Cal Bears on SI. Aiden, when we talked to the coaches a few minutes ago, they talked about how a lot of guys who play in your position are sort of just there to sort of hold off two blockers, but that you're actually athletic enough that you're doing that and then making plays off of that. I'm wondering, did you, did you play other sports as a youngster that sort of expanded your athletic tool belt, as you called it? Yeah, no, my, my dad and mom put me in sports in every sport they could growing up. You know, I played, I played anything from basketball to soccer in high school. I played basketball my freshman year. I uh, threw in track. I did a little bit of wrestling, uh, uh, not in high school, but before that. And so I played in a, just a collection of sports. I, I even remember playing in rugby when before high school. And I, I believe I was thir I was 12 or 13, and they I was so big. And they're like, you're not that age. You need to play with the 16-year-olds because they're more your size. So just growing up, my dad and mom were always putting me in sports all the time, hoping to be active, flag football. And then right when I could play tackle in second grade, immediately into tackle football. Because, you know, it's not just, it was just sports are a passion for me, something that I love doing. And it always kept me busy, kept me in shape. And, you know, it's helped me so far. And, and do you think those other experiences have contributed to the kind of athlete you are as a football player? Yeah, I believe, you know, different sports bring or uh, challenge you in different ways. And it could be mentally, it could be physically, even emotionally. And I believe that all sports will Get, help you gain something in your athletic ability. And then on top of that, though, you know, coaches will all teach you something different, whether it'll give you mental fortitude or they'll teach you a specific technique that will help you in your future, no matter what sport you play. If I can switch gears real quick, if Florida State has the most experienced offensive line in the country in terms of how many games those guys have played and I think even how many starts first or second in the country. And they're awfully big. Uh, what's your impression of them when you look at them on tape? Yeah, no, I I mean, it's the same as every week for me. We we respect our opponent, you know, respect the guys we go against. We watch them on film. But in the end, you know, Coach Browning, let's say it's about us. It's about focusing on what we need to do, what we need to get done, playing to our best ability and going out there and doing our job. You know, we, you know, we like to look at tendencies of the other team, but it's all about us and playing to our best ability. Thanks, Aiden. Of course. We'll go to Matt Moreno from Rivals. Uh, we anticipated during the offseason and during camp that you guys would have a pretty heavy rotation uh, along the defensive line. How have you seen the benefits of that pay off, you know, in the first few games? Yeah, no, I think D-line is a, a position that you need to rotate heavy. You want guys playing at full speed for as many plays as they can. So if you're having high rotation in there, you got guys going for five or six plays that are going full speed. They're retracing to the ball to make some of those tackles on potential screens or even breakaway plays. They're able to pull all effort out there. So then they come out for a little break and get ready for that next drive. And so the rotation for us has been so, the, ro the heavy rotation we've had has been so nice because I know that I'm going to put all my energy into my plays because Browning will give give me a rotate, give me a couple sips of water, get a break, and then go back out there and do the same thing next drive. And have you been part of a defense that's been this prolific and taking the ball away, especially in the back end with the interceptions? Um, I've, I haven't been a part of defense that's been this prolific, but I know every defense 
always emphasize takeaways, but to see it happen in, you know, every game to this level is truly amazing and a great experience to be a part of. And our coaches love emphasizing, you know, takeaways during practice. We do tons of drills on screen retrace to, you know, when you're retracing to the ball, going for that ball, we watch film on guys. If, you know, they, they leave the ball exposed sometimes to target that and just get those takeaways because they're such drive killers and motivators for our offense. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll go Steve Croner from the SF Chronicle. Thank you. Uh, nice talking to you. Um, you're not nearly, I'm, I'm ton older than you are, but when I was growing up to sound like the crotchety old man telling you to get off my lawn, Notre Dame had kind of a an aura about it that it was one of the special college programs. I, I, I think it still has, but maybe not quite what it did, say, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Have mm -hmm. some of the guys on your team now asked you about Notre Dame and how Cal and it's what it does compares to what you were experiencing in Notre Dame? Yeah, no, of course. You know, being at my previous institution for four years, they always they'll ask, like, how will your practices, you know, trying to compare it. But like I, I like focusing in the now and like I'll talk about it. You know, I love talking about my past. I don't regret any decision I've made in my past. I'm happy with what you know, what I did back then, but I've also, you know, truly happy with where I am now. And I believe everything happens for a reason. So when they'll, when they ask about it, I'll talk about it, you know, I'll talk about my experiences and, you know, my enjoyment of it, but then, you know, I, I like to move towards now and pretend a little bit towards the future, but specifically now. Thank you. Of course. We'll circle back to Jeff Barato. Aiden, before this season, um, you looked at the Cal schedule and you saw that you guys would be playing your ACC opener on the road against the defending conference champion and a team that was 13-1. and one. Um, I'm wondering what you thought of, about this game when you saw it then. And they're 0-3 now, which is kind of surprising to everybody. It, does it in any way alter your view of the team you're about to play? Um, no, I think Florida State has the potential to be an amazing team, no matter what their record shows. I think any team can be any team. It just depends on how you play on a specific day. They have a lot of talent. And even being 0-3, they now have a different mentality that could be dangerous if we don't do the things that we need to do as a team. You know, they have a lot of talent up front. They have a lot of talent on their team. And so we need to execute our job on on our side of the ball and offense needs to execute their job on their side. So then we can go in there, play hard, have a great game, and then come out with the win. All right. Thank you. Of course. Thank you.